Greetings, cyber dogs and citizens of the internet. This is Ren Dog coming at you from just outside the Lakeside Villa in this Let's Play Minecraft Survival series. In the previous episode, we were working on the roads of Mole City, and in this episode, we're going to start work on the foundations for the Butler's House. Now, the Butler's House, as we discussed maybe 20 or 25 episodes ago, is going to sit in front of the mole hole where the old animal farms used to be. And as well as that, the butler is going to be the very first um, citizen of Mole City. He is going to be the very first infested um, person that we cure and that we add to the population of Mole City. So he is a very important guy. And we need to ensure that the house in which he lives is as sweet as possible. Now guys, some of you guys were messaging me um, at, uh, and leaving comments on the previous video asking how exactly are we going to be populating Mole City? Some of you guys were saying, are you going to be spawning in villages? Are you going to be trying to transport them in from Dogtown? What exactly are you going to do to get villages or to get townspeople into Mole City? Well, the plan is, guys, and by the way, I'm just working on uh, uh, more of the side roads while we talk about this. As you can see, this is the, the design that I've gone for. And as I mentioned um, before we started working on Mall City, I want to try and keep some of the contours of the landscape in place. So I'm building this road um, so that it's go it goes up this contour slightly, just so the city has a, you know, a bit of levels. It's, it's not just all flat. Um, so hopefully that's going to make it look uh, a little bit more awesome. But what am I talking about? Right. How are we going to get uh, the population of Mall City going? Well, the, the simple answer is by using the butthole to spawn infected villagers, then using the witch's cave to create golden apples and um, I, I think it's a weakness potion that we need to cure those infected villagers and thus those infected villagers will try and find a place to live and guess what? They're going to fall from the butthole down into the, uh, the chamber that we created where we're going to cure them. We're then going to drop them into water at the bottom of the mob spawner. So way, you know, all the way down that, that funnel over there. Let's quickly have a look. I'll show you guys exactly what I mean. For those of you guys who can remember from season one, the mob spawner actually has a, um, well, I can only describe it as a butthole. <laughs> the mob spawner's butthole actually extends all the way down past the RD sign, all the way down to ground level. So what we'll do is we'll fill, we'll fill that the bottom part of the mob spawner with water. And then as we cure those villagers, we'll be able to pull a lever and drop them into the water. Then we'll open a door here and they will thus be able to walk across here and um, try and find a house in Mall City. Um, guys, this is where the butler's house is going to sit. I've already outlined a sort of a kind of dirt foundation structure for where his house is going to be. I want him to have a pretty big house. I want him to be rewarded for all the work that he does. You know, being a butler for such a massive castle, there's a lot of dusting, there's a lot of sweeping, and there's a lot of freaking doggy dee to pick up around this place, man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, this is going to be his house, and I'm going to make for him like a little a farm or like a little a, a porch or something over here, which is going to be pretty sweet. But um, yeah, man, we we have oh, man. It is going to be so epic populating more city because um, it does take quite a long time to get an inf uh, uh, an infested villager or an infected villager in the butthole, but it does happen. And all I think we need is a, to create is a golden apple and a weakness potion. Of course, we're going to need to create a brewing stand to make that weakness potion. But I do believe that we have the necessary goods to make a brewing stand already. Um, how's this, how does this go now? Just like this. Um, because what we need to make a brewing stand is blaze rods and I do believe we have enough blaze rods to make a brewing stand so even though we might not have the witch's cave yet we will be able to make um, a brewing stand and thus a weakness potion and we will be able to eventually spawn for ourselves a butler and it could be a female butler could be a male butler it does not matter in the mole hole and in the, the population of mole city we are not a sexist society man we accept um, everybody <laughs> um, right let me quickly have a look how exactly I did the stairways up here I keep forgetting um, so we go up one level and then up a whole level it looks like it's so we need to go go up one level and then we need to go up a whole level something like that I don't think that's how I did it but um, 
I'm, I'm gonna go with that, man. I'm gonna roll with this. Hmm. And then we gotta place our stairs just like this. Right, let's get some dirt up in here. Oh, guys, and um, by the way, some of you guys were asking, what happened to my sexy ass uh, construction pants? Well, the bad news is that they actually broke in the previous episode. So um, I, I went and made some a new leather tunic and a new leather pants using leather that I got from cows. And uh, I got some more dandelion yellow and we're gonna re repair our leather tunic, which is about to break and make us some new construction pants because you know, we are breaching all kind of health and safety regulations right about now, man. We need to get that sorted out. Um, but there we go. We are up to this level over here. And uh, we're just going to complete this road. Um, man, it has been it has been quite quite a mission making the roads, the, the streets of Mall City, man. Let me tell you, it has been an epic, epic build. I'm not even not even near finished unfortunately but it is looking uh, pretty sweet i'll show you guys the other side roads that i did in a second once i've laid down um this final little side road here and uh, man this is going to be awesome so i've been thinking about what i want to build in this district right and i think this is going to kind of be like the um the roman district man this is going to be where there's going to be really sweet sweet buildings i want to use this arch structure that i built for the lakeside villa a lot i want that to be the primary um the primary look of the, this district over here of mall city this lakeside villa district i guess is what it's called and what i've been thinking was making a monument here and it's a monument that is basically going to be like a museum right so i don't know how many if how many of you guys have been to the um the national museum in london uh the it is an absolutely insane museum man it is absolutely crazy it has like all the stuff it has stuff from uh, oh god it's it's just insane man i can't even explain how amazing it is it, it has all the stuff from um, ancient egypt it has mummies it has ancient greek temples and when i say temples i mean in entire temples um i think it's the british museum that i'm talking about um they basically picked up they, they went to greece and they're like man this is a sweet temple we want it in our museum and they just basically picked up the whole freaking temple and put it in the museum and it kind of looks a little bit like the lakeside villa um th this archway structure over here is very similar to it so i think what i'm going to do is probably copy that idea and i want to kind of make like a museum over here or some kind of a museum maybe it'll, it'll sit over here and i have a plan for that museum that I don't really want to um, talk about, but it is going to involve cyber dogs, man. Um, so, you know, in season one, we did the dogolith, and uh, you know, the dogolith is awesome, and I really love the dogolith, but I think we need to do something else too, man. In season two, we need to have something, something that, um, you know, we can all be proud of, and then we can all say started in season two, and I think I have a very sweet idea, um, but you guys are going to have to wait and see what that's all about probably get cracking on that within the next i don't know the next five or so episodes um oh god we have run out of steppage um but it's going to be sweet man i've got some sweet plans then of course we've got the viking the, the viking district over here no idea what we're going to make there um man there's just there's just so much to do in this series uh it, or in this season should i say man it is just insane how much more we, we still have to do we've got what like 14 episodes left be be before season three and uh, man, I, I hope we can finish everything on time. I'm, I'm doing my best to get everything done on time. But whatever we don't finish, we can just carry over into season three. You know, I mean, there's no need to rush anything. I'd rather like do everything properly, get everything looking, you know, the way that I want it. Everything as sweet as possible instead of just rushing it to get it finished for season three. Um, you know, it's not like there's a time limit, man. It's not like this is <laughs> it's not like NBC or something. And uh, the series can only run for three years or something. I mean, the series can run for as long as YouTube exists, um, which is sweet. <laughs> um, but anyway, okay, so I finished this side road over here, guys, which is looking excellent. And of course, the street lamp is gonna go in here, just like we did on the other side. Let's go for a little walk um, through the streets of Mall City. I'll show you exactly what I've done. And that sounds like a police song, man. It's through the streets of Mall City, where lovers meet and friendships forge. Mall City. <laughs> oh man um sounded like an ad an advert for a chocolate bar or something but anyway as you can see i've, I've finished off the road here you can see it also sort of goes up to the 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 molehole district of lake of um, mole city over here 
and then I was kind of working on this one but it, it's kind of tricky because the slope is so steep and of course this is going to go into the nether portal temple district over here this is where the all the uh, the bad the, the seedy side of mall city is going to be over here man there's going to be some dodgy ass stuff around here gangsters and uh, and and dodgy bars and gambling facilities and whatnot man it's gonna be sweet but uh let's get our butts into the safety of the mole hole guys the sun has gone down and uh that means we can actually go and sort out some of the admin that we want to work on today before we come and work on the foundation for the butler's house from now on whenever i check the butthole i'm going to be checking for in um infected villagers and if we find an infected villager um you know we're going to have to we're gonna, maybe we'll make a brewing stand and try to get him cured as soon as possible. But let's make our leather pants, our construction pants, and our leather tunic. Um, get that all dyed nicely. All right, now I'm feeling safe again, man. I got I got my full construction kit on again. I was definitely breaching a health and safety violation up in there, man. And I think what I want to try and do is is uh, fix this leather tunic. It is almost busted, man. Where is the other leather tunic? Oh yeah, of course. I've got to take the busted one off. Um, off my body man this leather tunic must be sweaty as hell man damn i don't even want to think about how nasty it must be uh 14 levels to repair that leather tunic um damn all right well we'll do it um there we go our construction gear is now once again fully completed and we are looking snazzy if i do say so myself snazzy five uh man that is epic um paloma what are you up to you want to go up to the life tree you want to go have a look you want to go and have a look up the life tree well you can't that is restricted area. Cats are not allowed up there. I know you think that you can fall down and land on your feet and nothing will happen to you, but man, a fall from the, the top of the life tree is going to kill your cute little ass. So I'm not letting you up there, man. Seriously. Um, right, let's clean out this butthole. And just, check, uh, just checking for infected villagers, but there are none, unfortunately. Arab to the skelly bits. Complain. Sweet. All right, so um, you know what, man? I think like we are pretty. We're now going to be working very close to the mole hole, so there's no need to actually go and sleep. I want to work all the way through the night. You know, I, I want to get the uh, the butler's house built. So I think what I'm going to do is get the pack to uh, to wake up and come and join us for a bit of crafting. Where is the other dog? There he is. Come on, Rorschach. Ooh. Oops, my bad. Sorry, my bad. Rorschach, Fang, Jock, <laughs> the second, and uh, and Nugget, come and join us, man. We're going to be doing a bit of crafting and we might get waylaid by enemies up in here so i need you guys to protect me paloma you keeping your cute little face open for creepers correct yes sweet all right so guys this is what i want the butler's house to look like and uh what i thought we would try and do today is actually um cr literally create some foundations for this thing so um what i want to do is i want to make it like look like quite a rustic building right Ooh, there is an Enderman. I actually do want to kill that Enderman because um, I want his eyeball. And I think, I mean, I've got my dogs with me, so we should be able to do this. Um, all right, so let's try. Let's try and do this, guys. Hopefully you won't die. Come at me, bastard. Come at me. Attack, dogs. Bam. Dogs, you are being a useless pack! Attack! Good work, doggies! That was awesome! Oh god, you guys are so awesome! GG, man! Good game, all of you dogs! You guys are sweet! Um, some of your tails are a bit low, though, so... Looks like you guys took a bit of pain. Let's see if there's any zombie flesh up in here. Yep, there is some zombie flesh up in here! Right, everybody sit down! It's, uh, it's dinner time! <laughs> Oh man, that was awesome. And we actually got an ender pull from that, so that is good. What I'm trying to do now is actually kill endermen whenever I see them, because um, we need ender pulls, you know, ASAP. Because, um, I mean, in season three, we, we want to go to the end, right? And I'm assuming that we need ender pearls to find the stronghold. Well, that's at least what uh, someone told me. So, definitely need to collect as many ender pearls as possible. Let's get our dog and dogs back up and running. All right, guys. Hope you had a nice dinner. All your tails are up. Excellent. Now come and protect your master. All right. So what I wanted... Ooh. Who got hurt? Oh, it's because you're running... Oh, idiots. Running in blocks. I mean, come on. That's never going to be good, is it? 
So anyway, guys, what I thought I would do, right, is try and get quite a rustic look to this building. And uh, what I wanted to do was use jungle wood planks as the sort of corner foundations, right? Because the jungle wood planks, um, the lines go up like this. And then to run along the top of these jungle wood planks, I want to use um, spruce wood planks, right? So let's just make some spruce wood planks. You guys will see what I mean. Whoa, there's a little doggy there. There's a little puppy here. Oh, we just got a new member of the pack. What the hell happened? Which one of you bastards got busy getting busy? Who was it? Was it? Who was it? Nugget? You randy little bugger. Uh, <laughs> well, guys, we've just got a new member of the pack. Look at him. He's so cute. Hey, puppy. What's up? Okay, guys. Well, um, that was an un <laughs> that was a an unplanned pregnancy, if I ever did see one. Um, so it's going to be up to you guys to name our new puppy, man. What do you think we should call him? Um, he is so cute, isn't he? Look at him jumping around like crazy. He looks very hungry, though. Um, so maybe I'll just give him some... Maybe I'll give him some food. There we go. Get his tail up. There we go. He's, he's happy again. I think it's because my particles are on low and I didn't see the hearts glowing above the guys, above the dogs. So I, I, I made them come up when they were ready to get busy, getting busy. And now look what's happened, guys. Teen pregnancies. I'm going to send you guys to freaking Teen Mom 2, man. <laughs> anyway, so guys, I'm going to use spruce wood planks along the top because as you can see, um, it, it, the, the, the texture runs horizontally. So we're going to make, you know, the foundation look a little something like that. And I actually, th this was actually just to show you what I wanted to do, but I think that is about the, the right height. Yeah, that is about the right height. Sweet. So let's get all of the foundations in place and spruce wood plankage. Come on. Oops. Man, we this is like Dr. Doolittle over here, man. We got so many animals now. It's ridiculous. <laughs> there we go. Sweet. Okay, so then let's build the the other side of this foundation. I think it's it's three, right? Three high. One, two, three. Yep. Three high. Man, this puppy is a is a really happy little thing. Look at him running around. Look how look how crazy he goes, man. He's awesome. All right, Paloma's jealous, man. She's like, why do the dogs get to get busy and I don't get to get busy? Well, Paloma, I will find you a boyfriend. Don't worry. One day, it's just, your cats are really hard to get, Paloma. You need to talk to your buddies, man. I try to give them fish. They ignore me. They don't call me back. There we go. Sweet. Look at that. Okay, so that is looking pretty. Whoa, man, that was a big piece of lag. <laughs> when the when the lights of Mall City turn off or turn on, my computer actually lags. That's quite crazy, man. My computer is a beast. It should definitely not be doing that. All right, so I'm th I, that's looking pretty good to me. Um, I think that is a fairly reasonably sized house. I must say, if I was the butler, I would not be complaining. Let's try get. I think we what we need is another beam just in the middle. So one, two, three, four, five. Let's try isolate the middle here. One, two, three, four, five. So this is the middle over here. Oops. One, two, three, four. Bam. Oh man, I'm so excited, guys. I'm starting Spanish classes on Thursday. Um, you know, it's about time that I really learned to speak Spanish because my girlfriend's family is Spanish and my girlfriend is Spanish, of course. So, you know, it's, 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 it's not cool, like... Well, you know, I really love going to, to spend time with my girlfriend's family and be with them um, in Spain. And, you know, we go there like, man, we go there tons. We go there like 10 times a year and I love being with her family. But the problem is, guys, I can't speak to her family because none of them speak English. And, of course, I don't speak Spanish. And I, ex I can't expect them to speak English, you know. I mean, that's that would just be selfish. So um, I'm taking Spanish class. It's My Spanish classes are starting this week. And, man, I'm going to do some practicing with you guys, man. I'm sure there's so many Spanish cyber dogs out there and loads of you who probably learn Spanish at school too. So, you know, I'm from South Africa, man. In South Africa, we don't learn any languages other than English and Afrikaans and and some um, and Zulu and some other South African languages. But we don't learn any European languages, unfortunately. So I'm really looking forward to learning Spanish. Man. I can count in Spanish, which is pretty sweet. Um, I can say hello and I can say goodbye. I can also say disgusting. Which is, uh, which is pretty sweet. Uh, my girlfriend taught me that one. I think disgusting in Spanish is que asco. <laughs> Spanish is like the most awesome language ever. I, 
Spanish is my favorite language because it's it's so descriptive. Like the the way that you say stuff, the word, you know the pronunciation of words is so there's so much passion in the Spanish language, man. I absolutely love it. Um, but anyway, I'll keep you guys abreast on how my uh, Spanish lessons go, and uh, maybe some of you Spanish cyberdogs can help me out. Um, help me learn Spanish, man. All right. So we want to get these wooden foundations all the way down. Um, you know, we want to try and keep physics fails out of this as much as possible. Now, what we could try and do is use spruce wood planks for the floor um, of the, the, the butler's house. Let's have a look what that looks like. I think that looks pretty sweet, actually. Yep, that looks absolutely awesome. Let's make as many spruce wood planks as we can. Let's just fill out this part of the roof. Doggies, you need to move now, man. Come back into the kennels. Come. And you, kitty. You can chill here with the dogs for a while. Paloma's like, what? You're making me stay with dogs? You bastard. That's the last time I saved your ass from a creeper. No, man. The animals of Mole City, they all get on, man. They're all best friends. Paloma's going to take them on a tour of the sewer soon. Be like, come, dudes. Come and check out the sewer. It's so awesome. <laughs> um, all right. So let's just finish off the floor, I think, of the mayor's house. And then we'll call it a day for this episode. But damn, this has been a sweet episode. Um... I've been babbling on about learning Spanish and stuff, but look at the, the mayor's house is actually looking pretty sweet. He has got quite a lot of space in here, man. He's going to have enough room to make a family, um, you know, make at least one or two kids if he wants. I, I don't mind, man. But his salary is going to stay the same. Can't expect to be popping out babies when he's supposed to be working for, for, for the mobile, man. But, you know, I'll put his kids through school. I'll be nice. It depends on how good a cup of tea he can make, of course. <laughs> Man, this is some classes jazz going on up in this mall. All right, let's see. Do we have enough spruce wood planks to actually finish the floor of the butler's house? So I want to try and keep this this design like quite traditional, um, because um, I don't know. I just I just want the butler's house to look like it's been here for a really long time. And I'm, I'm kind of wanted to look like I, I always wanted the molehole to kind of look like um, man, like Winterfell from Game of Thrones, you know, like with wood and stone um, being the major the major construction materials. So I've always sort of pictured um, you know the molehole looking like Winterfell. And there, there's a, a scene in Game of Thrones, I think in season one, where you see the the house where the I think it's where the blacksmith lives. It's kind of in the courtyard of the the castle. And his house looks basically exactly like this. It's kind of like a traditional um, structure and it looks really sweet. So the design of this house is definitely, definitely inspired by that, uh, by that Game of Thrones scene. Okay, so the, the butler's house is going to look a little something like this. It's going to be a double doored house, I think. Just because of the, 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 the uneven number of blocks that we've made it uh, wide. And let's see. Let's see if we can finish the windows at the entrance here. Man, not... Oh man, I'm so... I get so addicted to crafting um, in this game. I just... I don't want to stop, you know? Like, once I start, I just want to carry on. So that looks pretty sweet. I think what we'll try and do is... Um, I don't know. Maybe we'll experiment with some wood. Maybe what we need to do is have, have wood running along the bottom of the foundation. More spruce wood like this. You know, something like that. Although I'm not really feeling that, I have to be honest. Let's get some more cobblestone down there. Yeah, and we'll fill this in. We're, we'll figure out exactly what the windows are going to look like and everything. But uh, for now, I think I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with the, the foundation of the mayor's house. It's going to look something like that, right? I mean, not the mayor, the, the butler. And um, he's, he's going to have easy access to his job. So he can just come out here, come straight into the mole hall to make me breakfast. And uh, <laughs> he's going to have his own little farm and stuff here where his family can like hang out and of course he'll be able to go to mall city go to the shops and whatnot as he needs um via the main road over here but guys this is sweet um you know what, what do you guys think of the design of the butler's house let me know in the comments section below 
Um, this has been absolutely awesome. I cannot freaking wait to carry on working on this dude's house, man. I am in the zone right now. But unfortunately, we have run out of time for this episode. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, you can show me that you have done so by hitting that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, guys, please hit that subscribe button, man. We are almost at season three of this series. We're also playing Minecraft Feed the Beast. We're also playing Starcraft. And there's also loads more sweet ass games coming on this Rendog channel. So freaking get yourself subscribed. Guys, this has been Rain Dog playing Minecraft Survival. Cannot wait to see you in the next episode. Goodbye, my friends.